hello everyone my name is prapul kumar and today i am recording this video for subject design and analysis of free configurable systems uh, so the second part of uh, project was told to plot the area versus latency graph for 192 co different combinations so i'm going to show you how you can do that so first i'll explain how my script works so i have created a folder called synthesis files and within that folder i have file called lib underscore sobel dot info so this basically has different pragmas so uh, the goal is to extract uh, each uh, each and every uh, pragma with uh, and then get the different combinations of pragma so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, create a function which takes uh, which reads this file and then here in this section if you see this piece of code uh, i observed that there were some some line lines in that uh, fold file uh, which had Mm, comments basically so this piece of code is basically uh, ignoring the line set start with uh, pound so I saw in that file it started with pound so I believe those are the commented lines so which I'm ignoring uh, and then in this piece of code if you see it's basically creating different combinations and then uh, it's basically writing it into a file into a new file so if you see the right uh, uh, command here it's basically writing uh, the different combinations in inside different uh, header files i'm gonna show you the folder uh, which that was created by the script so if you see if you see if you go in the output uh, folder uh, there is a folder called sobel headers which was created by the script so this has 192 combinations of different header files so you get 192 iterations uh, different combinations with the uh, pragmas that was created by the script so what I'm gonna do is the next step uh, inside the code is uh, I copy all the necessary files uh, inside a, a new folder. So basically what I need is I need a .c file and then I need uh, flib and blib file and along with that I need a header file of that configure of uh, different configurations. So what I'll do is I'll create 192 folders. I'll have all these files and then I'm gonna go to the directory and then I'm gonna execute the command via script. So this piece of code is nothing but cop it's copying the necessary files. So if you see the necessary files are here, uh, sobel.c and cyclone5.blib and this is the flip file. So basically what I'm doing is I'm copying all the three files inside a new folder. Along with that, uh, I'm gonna pick one of the combination of the header file inside that folder and then I'm gonna go into that folder and then I'll uh, basically use my CUI uh, to run the command and synthesize, synthesize the code basically so uh, so in this piece of code I'm basically uh, copying all the files so I'm gonna show you the directory that was created so if you see the main folder so it has different subfolders so if you see uh, the subfolder 23 if you see it has a header file <coughs> it's one I have blib flip file and then the c file so since I've already, uh, you know, synthesized the code, uh, the different files were created by Cyber Workbench. Once that is done, the next piece of code uh, is basically running the commands. It's going inside in, into the subfolder location and then it's basically uh, running the command right here that is B BDL tran. So this is nothing but it's taking the flip blip file and all of the things. So if you see uh, Python has a sub process, uh, uh, sub process, you know, you know, function, which, which, which is from OS uh, library. So uh, what it's doing is it's basically running this command uh, within the terminal via Python. So once that is done, what I'm going to do is, uh, you will observe there are different uh, files created by cyber workbench once the synthesis is complete so let me show you okay right here uh, if you see the different files was created by uh, cyber workbench so what we need is we basically need csv file from this so sobel.csv so in this file uh, we have uh, area latency and all of the different parameters so uh, what we'll do is we'll copy the generated csv file created by different subfolders and then uh, we are gonna basically uh, dump the dump all of those into a single combined CSV file for all the 192 iterations. So the way we are doing that with code is 
it's right here okay okay <coughs> So if you see uh, in this last function, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm basically copying the different individual CSV file into a, a folder created uh, with the script. So I'm basically creating different keyword folders for that specific iteration. So uh, for instance, if it is from iteration one, I'm gonna create keyword underscore one that is for iteration. That's the output keyword file for the iteration first. Uh, so I'm doing this to uh, be organized so that I don't miss out on the files. Uh, once that is done, I'm basically uh, collecting all the CSV file from the generated uh, subfolders. So I'm com I I'm creating a new file that is combined sobel.csv. So this will basically have uh, all the parameters of different iterations. So if you see in this uh, main function, I'm basically having all the sub functions. In this main, I'm just running this uh, function to run all of these. So I'm gonna run the function and then I'll show you to you. So, so let me see where am I right now. Okay, I'm in the correct directory. If you see flow.py, this is the script. So since Python 3 was already installed, I'll, I'm, I'm just gonna do Python 3.py. Okay, so it has started creating the header files if you see and then it started pasting all the different combinations. And if you see it has started to run the commands so if you see it's running all the VDL tran command for each iteration so it is creating qr2 this is the for second iteration for second for third iteration is creating so it takes a bit of time uh, in order to complete for all 192 iterations so since i've already uh, created it uh, i'm going to show you the output of the files okay so now i'm going to show you how i'm plotting the graph uh, so if you can see here so this is the data frame that I have imported from combined underscore CSV. So it has different parameters like area, state, DSP blocks, QR files, and all of these. Uh, so I'm using Seaborn uh, library, uh, which is a visualization data visualization library. So I'm using pandas to uh, read the CSV and then convert it, converting that to data frame. So I'm interested only in latency and the area. So hence I have, I'm just filtering only the two columns. So if you see, uh, I'm using Seaborn library and uh, plotting uh, latency in X and area in Y uh, axis. So I'm indicating that with blue color for all of the designs. So since I'm al also doing uh, Pareto analysis, I'm using, I'm indicating that with the red color so if you see this this is the output of the code so if you see uh, these 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 points uh, so these points are the output for uh, area versus latency output for in the different configurations so and if you see uh, this at this point this is the pareto analysis uh, uh, design pareto this is basically the optimal design pareto optimal design so uh, the optimal designs are from iteration 131 135 and all of the stuff right here so yeah, that was uh, it with uh, graph plotting and all. Thank you.